Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, Editor-in-Chief of InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ghosted backgrounds to make type readable when it's placed over a photo in InDesign. For example, in our file here, we have this dramatic photo of a wave with all this great detail, and I have this text that needs to appear over the photo. And let's say that the text is basically formatted the way it has to be. We have to use this font at this size. But when I move the text frame over the photo, and zoom in a bit, you can see that we have a big problem. Most of the text is unreadable because it's black on a very dark background. But maybe we have some flexibility and could recolor the text white. So I'll try that. I'll target the text and set the fill to paper. Unfortunately, that just makes a different part of the text unreadable. So I'll undo to switch it back. And one obvious solution is to add a white fill to the text frame. So I'll target the frame, set the fill to paper. But now we have this big white rectangle totally blocking a good chunk of the photo, including the part right where the wave is crashing. So that won't do. A good compromise might be to make a ghosted background for the frame where you can see through it to discern some of the photo details, but there's still enough of a fill to make the text readable. And there are a few different ways to do that. The most common way is to lower the opacity of the fill in the text frame. Now for that, you can't use the opacity slider in the control panel because it will lower the opacity of the text too, as you can see here. So I'll undo that. Instead, we need to go to the effects panel, which you can open from the window menu. Here we can set different opacity levels for the object as a whole, which is the same as the slider in the control panel, or set the opacity of the stroke, the fill, or the text inside the frame independently of one another. So I'll click on fill and drop it down to 60%. Notice that while I have the fill targeted in the effects panel, the value is also reflected up here in the control panel. And if you're using InDesign CC 2019 or later, you can also use the Properties panel to set the fill opacity. So if I open Properties and click on Opacity, I can target and set the fill opacity. And maybe we could even take this further down to, say, 50%. And that will show more of the photo detail, but just remember, the lower we go, the less readable the text is going to be. So I'll split the difference and go to 55%. Note that you could also use a separate frame with a ghosted fill behind the text frame, like I have on the next page in my file. And this opens up lots of creative possibilities that would be really hard to achieve with the text and the fill in the same frame. In this case, I made a wavy frame from a custom shape in Photoshop. I brought the vector path into InDesign and then put it behind the text frame. And you can see it's separate if I select it and move it to a different spot. I'll undo to put it back and go to the next page in my file to show you another variation. And that is to use a directional feather effect to hide the fill of the frame where you don't need it. I'll press the W key on my keyboard to go into preview mode to hide the edges of the frames. And notice now on the right hand side, you can clearly see the ghosted background, but over on the left, it's totally gone. This was achieved by targeting the fill of the frame in the effects panel and choosing directional feather from the FX menu at the bottom of the panel and then experimenting with the settings to find the right feather width, choke, and angle values. And if I turn the opacity all the way up to 100%, you can more clearly see what's happening here. The feather width causes the left side of the frame to fade out over a distance of 12 picas. The 60% choke value created a quick transition between transparent and opaque, and the negative 55 degree angle match the angle of the wave, where the image goes from very light to a middle gray. This allows me to go even higher with the opacity of the fill to make the right side of the text more readable. So I'll go to 60%. So remember, when you're faced with a tricky situation placing type over a photo or some other busy background, to use the effects panel. There, you can lower the opacity of the fill of the frame and apply effects like a directional feather to make the text readable while still showing as much of the background detail as possible. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.